Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the rear brake pads on the Xiaomi M365 scooter. You're going to need a few tools. A 5mm Allen wrench, a 4mm Allen wrench, a 2mm Allen wrench, a small flathead screwdriver, and a pick, a caliper, some coarse sandpaper, and of course the brake pads. Uh, you can get these off AliExpress for less than $5. First step is to take the 4mm Allen wrench and loosen the uh, cable clamp. Then you want to loosen the two uh, caliper bolts and remove them. Then you take the 2mm Allen wrench and there is a set screw right here that you want to loosen off. You don't need to completely remove it, just enough so that you start seeing the threads there. Then we're going to take the 5mm Allen wrench and loosen this back plate and remove it. And the back plate will hold the inside pad. Uh, they're held down by magnets. And you can see this one's kind of worn out. And then the inside pad is also held in by a magnet. But to get them out, I found that I needed to use a pick and a screwdriver at the same time to remove it. So I'll use the pick to lift it off, and then I'll use a screwdriver to get inside and pop off the brake pad. The worn out brake pads measure in at about 4 millimeters, and the new brake pads are 5.5 millimeters. You can't fit the brand new brake pads in there because they're too thick. They'll start binding up against the brake rotor. So you're going to need to sand them down, uh, down to about five millimeters. So after we sanded all the pads down, let's start putting it all back. So for the inner brake pad, you want to thread in the backing plate so that it sticks inwards about the same as the outer brake pad. So something like that. And then now we're going to put it back on the rotor. So you're going to tighten down the caliper and then you're going to back off the bolts just a little bit so that you can shift the caliper around like that. Because this is where we're going to need to center the caliper to the rotor. So right now you can see that there's a little bit of space between the rotor and the pads. As you can see the light shining through. So that's where we're going to want to see. So then I'm going to snug up these two caliper bolts again. So it doesn't move. Now I should be able to spin the wheel without much rubbing. Take out some slack in the uh, cable without the pad rubbing against the rotor. So if the inner brake pad is rubbing or there is too much clearance, you can just adjust it with the backing screw. Right now mine is adjusted properly, so I'm going to adjust the, tighten up the set screw here. This will lock down the backing plate. Okay, and then, uh, then, we, then we give it a test spin. So basically there's two adjustment areas on this caliper. The inside brake pad is adjusted by the backing plate and the outside brake pad is adjusted by the uh, cable. Uh, once you set the distance you want, you can tighten down this uh, bolt here. And then there's an adjuster here, you can fine tune the uh, cable adjustment. So this may take a few tries to get it right, but um, once, once you get it right, it should spin nicely like so. A little bit of rubbing is fine. My rotor isn't perfectly uh, straight. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.